you know, we want to play the best best we can, um, the highest level, being a professional. And this is the highest level, and can't wait. You know, if I make the make the squad and make the t- get the chance to run out, um, you know, I'll, I'll try and um, represent that shirt with as much pride as my, my teammates, because you know, um, you know, I'll, I'll probably have to um, prove to my teammates and everyone else that I'm real genuine about this decision, and which I am. I spoke to the coach, and. Um, it's something that um, it's real exciting for me. I can't wait, and like I said, I can't wait to get into training and meet all the boys. So it means a lot to me, yeah. Oh well, Rangi approached us um, about you know committing himself to England and, and his desire to do so, and what our thoughts would be on that. So obviously, we've had a, a couple of meetings and, and conversations with Rangi, and uh, we've come to the decision that uh, he's saying the right for us, and uh, we're right for him. Came about um, just by getting in touch with the coach, but it all, I thought it was five years um, to like to wait because when I first got over here, for some reason I thought it was five, so I thought, man, I have to wait five years. And um, I was speaking to a bloke, uh, Mick Robinson. Robinson, um, he's a friend of mine, he first got me over here to this country to start playing with Cass. Um, and I was speaking about it but the other week, and I said, um, you know, I'd represent England if I had the chance, you know, but it's just waiting five years and he's like, mate, you don't have to wait five years, it's three years, he's an Australian. And I said, is it? And he said, yeah, mate, I can uh, get in contact with uh, Steve right now if you want, just to let him know. And I said, oh, yeah, if, if you can, if that's all right. So he got in contact with him and he got back to me saying, yeah, they've been talking about you know, stuff like that. So I said, so I got his number myself and I just got in contact with him myself and said, you know, I'm really keen, I'm really keen to um, fight the chance, something, something along those lines, to represent England, you know, um, I would. I just thought I'd let you know and um, see, what comes of, see what comes of it. So I met up with him a couple of days later and I had a big talk to him saying my reasons and that and um, yeah. And he seemed to think I had a genuine reason. So if he if he thinks that that that's enough. So I think um, they, they sort of reassured him that you know I was, was I was genuinely keen and wanted to represent England. So I had a big talk and he put me in the squad. So <laughs> mate, it was unbelievable. I couldn't you know it's a big big moment. It's probably the highlight of my career. And the critics will undoubtedly question his commitment to the England cause, but I guess uh, New Zealand's loss is, is England's gain. But there's absolutely no doubt about his commitment whatsoever, and uh, it's probably rang his story to tell in some regards, but you know, the compassion and passion in which he spoke to me uh, about what life in England means to him, uh, what this country's provided for him, uh, and various other reasons, uh, it's a... Uh, it's a very compelling story and these reasons are really, really genuine and I think he'll um, be a great addition both on the field and off the field You know, if he gets selected into the final 24. As far as I'm concerned, you know, I'm going to represent the country that I call home and I haven't been home in New Zealand for since I was 16, nearly 10 years now. So, um, you know, I haven't lived there for 10 years. So, um, you know, I'll admit, as a little kid when I was young, I would have liked to play for New Zealand, but things have changed. I've grown up and, you know, um, you locate different places. I've lived in Australia for seven years and I've never felt comfortable in my life as I do here. And, you know, I'm, at a, I'm having a good time here. I'm at a good time in my career where I'm real happy, you know. There's a lot of times where I wasn't happy and this place gave me the opportunity. So it's an honour and a privilege to, um, be able to represent the place I call home. You know, he qualifies, you know, sim- it's quite simply, you know, when a player of his ability who qualifies within the rules approaches you about committing to England, you, you have a, a duty, duty of care to explore that and find out whether uh, those reasons are the right reasons. And without doubt, 100% without doubt, Rangi is uh, going to be fully committed to England.